Um, all right. Let's talk about this AI animation here, all right? So this is, uh, this guy says, the folks at Corridor Digital combine Stable Diffusion, Dream Booth, and DaVinci Resolve for their AI-powered anime, and the results are incredible. In fucking credible. Let's see. One, two, two, three, three. Shout! All right, so um, saying uh, let's first I don't know we can we can look at uh, the criticism of this first of all. So here is a, 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 a an article that says Corridor Crew's AI video is a moral betrayal of everything animation stands for. So here is what they say: um, AI is going to change everything. The rate at which the, the likes of writing, animation, music, and a myriad of other art forms fueled by human creativity are already becoming phased out thanks to complacent mimicry is heartbreaking to see. It's a development we must pay attention to if we uh, hope to prevent it from decimating the careers and livelihoods of millions. But as major YouTube channels, bands, and celebrities strive to show the ignorant masses its potential, uh, that cause is bound to lose amidst all the noise. I have several friends and colleagues who have spent their lives honing their skills as actors, artists, or writers, and now corporations will latch on to the dystopian idea of using AI to regurgitate hollow clones of their work that lack all emotion and soul that allows art to resonate with us in the first place. We are responding to a canvas filled with deceitful lies depending on the collective works of others to conjure up something that means anything. But as society shifts towards a desire for more content regardless of its source, I fear for the day when this becomes normalized and the average consumer never even thinks to question it. Enter the Corridor Crew, a YouTube channel boasting millions of, of subscribers that specializes in the art of visual effects across film, television, and animation. Many of its videos feature professional VFX artists reacting to good and bad examples of the craft or a group of passionate producers trying to conjure up a dream project with minimal resources. The channel has garnered a following because, at least on the surface, it understands that hard work and ingenuity uh, required to compete in such a field, likely encouraging young people to try their hand at things and perhaps one day even break into the industry. Sadly, a recent trend across its videos involves the implementation of AI as it uses popular programs and text prompts uh, to procedure uh, piece, to produce pieces of work from nothing. It's gross and goes against the ideology this channel has operated on for years. You constantly provide a platform for people who have worked in the visual effects field for decades only to then make videos that bastardizes their work in ways that might eventually uh, put them out on the streets. It continues to blow my mind how ignorant some of the larger channels are, clouded by their own privilege to such an obscene degree that they fail to see exactly where this artificial road is taking us. Uh, students in school right now studying animation or concept art or children that have already ignited their own spark uh, of creativity will have their chance, uh, chances at success snuffed out because a computer is doing all the work for them. Not thanks to an ingenious new algorithm or world change development, but programs that bastardize the existing work of artists and writers to create Frankenstein facsimiles that will eventually put the original creators out of work. All right. So here's a few things I have to say about this, uh, this line of thinking. First of all, the idea that there is like some stunning originality going on in the works generated by human beings, like, come on, so much of what we have seen is so fucking derivative at this point. Like if we were living in some golden age of human creativity, maybe these sentiments would make sense. But like literally the movies that are coming out are paint by numbers. The, the shows on television, by and large, are paint-by-numbers or reality show garbage. Uh, you know, everything has become so consolidated. In fact, you know, I feel like the people, especially on the left, have kind of brought a lot of this on themselves with their fucking, like, hot-to-trot-to-cancel-everybody-who's-controversial. Because you know what? 
you decided that every fucking artist out there was too much of a liability because they fucking have some kind of weird politics or weird proclivities that make you uncomfortable. And so fuck them. They're canceled. Boo. But then this AI shit comes along and you're like, whoa, what happened to human creativity? It's like, you killed it, you stupid fuck. You killed it. When you decided that no human being was fucking morally pure enough to create your content, guess what? They found a machine to do it. Because the AI doesn't have any weird beliefs. The AI doesn't have any weird sexual proclivities that you might not agree with. The AI doesn't have some political agenda you don't like. It's just a fucking cold, unfeeling fucking machine. And by the way, when you actually go and look at the process by which the, the, this, these people created this, like, yeah, it, it, it involves a lot of shortcuts, but like when you look at the amount of work they Imagine put in, that we are puppets. it's pretty clear that they didn't just fucking tell a machine to go ahead and make this. Like they needed a green screen. They needed costuming. They needed fucking art direction. They needed the fucking technology to do all this shit. Like the idea that they just like, oh, well, I'll press a few buttons and voila, a fully realized animation just emerged out of nowhere. Even if they did do that, wouldn't this technology by necessity unlock the creativity of the average person? Couldn't he, if, if we had the technology to just input some basic parameters and generate any content we wanted to, how would that be anything less than fucking amazing? Because that means that you or me or anybody could create something exactly to our specifications, exactly what we want to see. The technology is not there yet, and it's going to be a long fucking time before it is, in my opinion, at least a decade or two or three but we're not there yet. At this point, there are still artists that have to go through a process to create something. AI is a tool that helps them do that. And if you want to use that tool, awesome. If you don't want to use that tool, awesome. If you like the AI generated stuff, awesome. If you don't like the AI generated stuff, awesome. You as a consumer, can make whatever fucking choice you want. You as an artist can make whatever fucking choice you want. I'm tired of this fucking end of the world narrative over this shit. You know, last I checked, there's still artists. There's still drawing stuff. There's, there's still animators. There's still animating stuff. There's still writers. There's still writing stuff. Yeah, now there's AI that can do it too. So fucking what? If you're so easily discouraged that competition from a fucking algorithm can make you just go, well, fuck it, I guess it's pointless, then you are never all that passionate to fucking begin with, you fucking crybaby. Shut up. I'm tired of this fucking... <laughs> it's soulless, okay? It's soulless. Don't watch it. Don't support it. Don't give a shit about it. Who fucking cares? Anyway. By the way, I'm writing a book. <laughs> I'm writing a book right now. Have I... You know what, guys? When I saw ChatGPT could write now, did I just go like, well, I guess fuck my, fuck my novel. Who cares? Who gives a shit? I'm not even going to bother writing it anymore. No. <laughs> I did, I, I'm still fucking writing the thing. Slowly... <laughs> But surely, I'm writing the fucking thing. Do you sound like you're scared of AI replacing him? I'm really not. And you know what? If AI did replace me, good for it. You know, if I'm obsolete, if the fucking AI can do the job better than me, then fuck me. Get me out of here. But you know what? At the end of the day, the AI is never really going to be able to do my job better than me because it doesn't really have a point of view. It doesn't really have any emotion backing it up. Now, you know what? If it can fake it to such a degree that you can't fucking tell the difference, then I guess the joke's on me. But at the end of the day, I'm a fucking human being. You know I'm a human being. You know that I'm fucking uh, <laughs> whatever I am. 
So who cares? I'm writing a book too, a real book. AI can't make art. Um, I agree that, I mean, AI in and of itself cannot make art happen. AI can't just fucking with no input from a human being create art. That's why it's important to fucking realize this thing is a goddamn tool at this point. Yeah, it can do things that human beings direct, but it's really not capable. It doesn't have anything to say. AI is not like, I got this fucking, oh, dude, I got this fucking super cool idea. I have to fucking create this. The AI doesn't have that going on. Not yet. Maybe someday, but not now. So instead of all these dire doomsday predictions about the horrible stuff that's going to happen one day, maybe just like chill the fuck out. Realize that like we're not there yet. React to what's actually going on. Stop positing a million and one things. Stop acting like you understand where this is all going because I fucking guarantee you, you don't. I guarantee you none of us does. The fucking broader impacts of this stuff, whether they be good or bad or a mixed bag, which is the most likely, the, um, at the end of the day, no, one, no one's going to be able to predict it. There's just too many fucking variables up in the air. By the way, I'm not even, I'm not even a real person. I'm a fucking AI construct. You never, you never even knew. You never even knew. Uh, yeah, people are naturally afraid of change. I mean, like, look, we still people are still sculptors, right? <laughs> I mean, like, this is like the idea that like paintings are going away because we could take a picture. You know what I mean? Like, oh fuck, we can just take a picture of something now. There's no point in painting a thing anymore. Like, people still paint. It still fucking happens. It's been obsolete for fucking I don't know, like a hundred years or something. Probably a little more at this time. But uh, but no one no one stopped. It's not like, oh well. TJ is fucking right. Amen. I view AI like I do CGI, another tool in the box. Yeah, and look, I get that there's gonna be a lot of fucking like talentless hack motherfuckers that are going to churn out low quality AI content. But you know what? You as consumers can look at that and be like, this is low grade fucking shit tier bullshit. And I have no interest in it. And if you don't do that, if you fucking continue to turn tune into it, even knowing it's that, then don't fucking get mad when that happens. Don't get mad when that replaces artists or whatever. But I'm pretty sure that AI uh, technology in the hands of competent, creative people is going to fucking be a boon. Because at the end of the day, the, the important thing about animation is not the process of animation in and of itself. It's the result. And it's a medium to tell a story. Every cartoon that's worth a shit, every animation that's worth a shit has told some kind of narrative uh, story. It's, it's, it's conveyed some sort of characters in a situation doing something, reacting to something. It's had some sort of arc, some sort of emotionality to it. And being able to convey that or tell that story is what's actually important. It's not the process. If you're going to say it's about the process, then you should be mad at the, like a digital tablet, like this XP pen thing that's sitting on the table right next to me. You should be mad at this thing because, oh, that makes art too easy. You should have to draw it on a pad and paper. And if you make a mistake, you have to live with it. There's no fixing it. Or if you, there is, but it's a long process. You shouldn't be able to just erase it digitally. Digital art is a fucking, oh, it's a, it's totally a, a fake. Oh, you, oh, no, fuck you. You paint on a canvas? The only true way to paint is to crush berries and scrawl something on the wall of your cave. It's like, why, what? New technology developing that can be used by artists is somehow a bad thing for artists? Did I miss something?